Okay guys, uh, Mr. Bell, I'm back. I'm going to go through and uh, discuss some of the elements that make up steampunk. And I don't want anybody in my class to just copy and paste things for the sake of doing a collage for me prior to analyzing the elements that may build up or create this movement of steampunk. Okay, and I'm not going to go and look up the definition. I'm going to interpret it as a person right now. Okay, as an outsider, I'm throwing stuff at you guys, but I don't want you to take things literally and use the first thing you see. As you can see in my Pinterest account, I've actually held back on on looking up what steampunk cities or towns look like. You will see what I did is I went into the Industrial Revolution and I got into some, I'm, I'm looking at things, I'm, I'm seeing elements of uh, movement of steam, uh, rusted metal, uh, pipes, um, you know, smokestacks and so on. So I, I just went out trying to bring elements as a designer as opposed to going into it as and then boring what exists already. So you can see all this cool stuff here. Okay, um, mechanical parts. Okay, so that goes in my head. Uh, mechanical parts, um, movement of steam stacks, and so forth. And then the mechanism, the ducts, and so forth. Right? Um, how does it? How does it? How does the steam go from A to B? So those are things that are happening in my mind. As you can see here, electronic, uh, electrical, electricity is obviously generated through this uh, through the mechanisms that exist within buildings to power certain structures okay it could be like moving objects how to um, conduct electricity or how to build up electricity to use it for some certain purposes okay so if you look at all this stuff <clears throat> everything is historic okay um, I'm looking at this building right here this is beautiful uh, what I'm trying to get at for you guys is I know we're using Victorian, Elizabethan, mid, 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 Middle Ages architecture with villages and so forth, right? But the Industrial Revolution period was, was really fascinating because you can see how the brickwork uh, and some of the details work. So I'm, I'm trying to think elements from everywhere. And I'm trying to get you guys to think of it as a, as a Lego uh, or as a puzzle. And uh, let's continue here and let's look at what else I have here. Look at this now. This is very much like Star Wars to me. and 19th century um, oh boy wait do you see this one um, okay so there's some cool structures they're ornate that means they're they're very ornamental to me this is like glass palace when just first came out in one of the expos I believe or what it blew people's minds how how is it that we have a structure um, that's encompassed in framing and glass that was never done before I believe anyway so elements like this are gonna pop up and over here, I've gotten more into gothic and more ornate. Um, watch this next one here, okay? So what does this remind you guys? <clears throat> and please, somebody tell me Futurama, because this is way right out of it, right here. So whoever designed the Futurama buildings obviously saw this or some aspect of it, okay? So you'll see that I'm, I'm giving you guys elements. I'm not saying jump to it. Look at this orb here. Oh, my God. This Anyway, it's really cool stuff here, okay? So... I hope you're watching and there's a lot a lot of good stuff as you can see as I get as this uh, comp, as this selection set continues down you will see more l artist interpretations okay so this is definitely industrial revolution look at those smokestacks okay these are elements that we can cut and paste look at those movements there beautiful stuff okay um, again another building and and then what I'm trying to suggest to you guys is look at this kind of architecture too right and and then borrow this element and then superimpose something on top of it like something like this and and then modernize it like in the sense of within that composition or style of um, steampunk okay so look at that that is literal right there boom that goes on a building and all of a sudden you transform them look how beautiful this movement is here so guys when you're working in groups <clears throat> Somebody work on building, uh, bringing elements from a certain period. Somebody else deal with the mechanical aspects. Somebody else uh, deal with artistic interpretations. Guys, if you want to get into groups, divide and conquer, okay? So look how beautiful that is. That, that's Art Nouveau almost and very stylized. I, I'm just like, you know, like, look, look, look at that. This, this is stuff we've seen before, okay? 
Look at this period piece that's black and white. Look how awesome. Look at all the stuff that's coming out of here. That is unbelievable intensity. I've also referenced an artist. I think it's Ian McHugh here. Yeah, it is. Ian McHugh, that's his work. I can tell. And his work is unbelievable. You should look at his sketches and you know, look another one there. I didn't realize that was his. Um, his compositions are unbelievable. This guy's very sci-fi futuristic, but he implements, incorporates uh, older architecture. Look, look at this beautiful Art Nouveau or Art Deco glass uh, window. So you can incorporate all these things. As I go down lower, you are going to see some uh, city compositions. I think so. Okay. Okay. If not, let's just do this. Okay. So no, it's not there. Let me go in here. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, let's go here really quickly. I'm going to take this one for you guys. As you can see, okay, we talked about all this, right? Uh, let's see, can I just crank it up here? Yeah, okay, so you've seen stuff like this I've shown you before. Like, look at that. That's like Glass Palace right there. That's mind-blowing. So this kind of ornate architecture would fit in the, in the style, okay? Let me double check here. Six minutes. Oh, we're doing good. Okay, so you can take aspects of old villages and so on and incorporate things on top of it. I'm going to talk about something else later, maybe another lesson. There it is, uh, about multiple vanishing points in a composition as opposed to getting stuck in a two-point that goes right and left and everything stays within that triangle. No, we want to get into the next level. This is grade 12 where we can have multiple vanishing points. Okay, so I'll, I'll discuss that in another lesson. Okay, so there you go, right here. This is totally Futurama, right? So A and B, you got it. So, okay, we've got all this stuff. This is the raw materials that I've talked about. So let's go a bit more now into stylized, okay? So, come on. I'm in my stylo here, my stylus. Okay, so look, I love this. Uh, these elements like windows and then maybe with orange and yellow lighting below glowing out. Now I'm going to pop into something very, very interpretive. So look at this. So these are like submarine zeppelins, a uh, lot of details, ornate, and it looks to me like metal, copper. There is that orange window that I'm talking about. So you can take this and pop it on a building. So that's an aspect right there. Okay, so look at this. They, they've taken this, they mirrored it on the, on, on the horizon here. Look, above and below. This is unbelievable amount of work. So somebody spent a lot of time on this. So I can incorporate things like that flying. And this is definitely Ian McHugh's work. Uh, let's see, can I make it? Little, yeah, so like, look, he, he's got a ship <laughs> docking here. This is right out of the, the Blade, no, no, not Blade Runner, is it Blade Runner? No, Fifth Element. Yeah, and it comes to the, yeah, Fifth Element. Whatever, I don't know right now. Okay, so let's let's look at this. This is beautiful, right? So you see here, somebody's taken existing architecture and incorporate elements that make this a little more steampunk, not more uh, ornate windows. Look at this. These are all mechanisms, right? Mechanism on the side of buildings. So here you've got amazing examples. So this is like a front elevation. It's not in perspective, which is perfectly fine. Look at that. Look at that control valve, okay? This is what I'm talking about, all right? So we're not going to copy exactly, but we're going to take these elements and borrow it and make it ours. Again, and this is about composition. This, this, this is um, like, you know, like look how you can take this building incorporate it and add whatever you want so you can always look at people's interpretation again Ian McHugh I'm gonna move on here uh, there like see we know we know this building uh, if I just went in here you guys know this but then if you look above uh, you will see the new elements that have been added okay so this is this is what you call an interpretation right this is beautiful let's go to the next one Again, I can take something beautiful drawn like this by an artist composition. Look, perspective going this way. Another vanishing point going here. So they don't all have to line up. But look, look at this vanishing point. It's going that way. So there's multiple vanishing points. And this, to me, is, is an aspect of classical framing. I could possibly take elements like this, give me depth. Look at that little globe inside um, the north direction or so-called. And, and then you can add elements like that. See, I could take this, the movement is here, this is movement, right? Look, vanishing point there, this one goes that way. So, you see, like there's some really cool stuff here. You don't have to take, you know, like, please take the time and reflect and ask yourself, what are the elements that make up this movement, okay? And how can I incorporate it into my, uh, my, my own village interpretation, right? 
Look at that, copper. Remember how I showed you guys like uh, rusted ships and so-called? Well, yeah, that's where that comes out. Here's the, here's the pipe, here's the valve, and so-called. Here are the stacks. So these are elements that people have used to create a language. So what elements are you going to use to create your language, right? That's the question here. Look at that. I, man, man, this is beautiful. Like, look, I don't know where this is, but I'd love to find out that's as steampunk as it gets right you got the art nouveau style of lighting then you've got these reflections like there's so much going on mechanism inside mechanism out here industrial evolution mix with art nouveau and who knows what else like the glass palace so these are girders uh, structural elements made of steel and and this is beautiful like obviously this is off the charts but you can see the vanishing point is somewhere down here so it's coming down okay so there's there's a there's a lot of stuff going on. And then, of course, this isn't somebody else's interpretation. This is an artist who spent a lot of time uh, working on this. And I think it's fantastic, right? So look at this. You see here? This is right out of Star Wars. Star Wars uses this a lot. Right there. Okay. Uh, how do I get out of that? Okay, there you go. And then you've got multiple perspectives going on. Look at these. Look at these buildings. They're Art Nouveau. Um, look, and then it's more industrialized, more mech mechanism. Like it's more like, hey, what's over there? Is there some kind of a structure that's turning? Look at this glass over here. Reflection of yellow and orange. So those are kind of the color qualities. Rusted rooftops. Okay. So. There's so much. And then you've got sculptures. And then, of course, you've got the Zeppelin on top, the floating ship. Let's see what else. Is that the same one next? No, right here. Okay, so I'm taking, like, saying these are elements I could use. And the, this light source seems to be popping up in a lot of people's work. And that kind of ornate structure that's, that protrudes out from a building. Again, here, I can take this make it part of my composition and then add more to it okay so again somebody else did disc interpret a beautiful painting uh nice movement receding vanishing points uh various vanishing points this way coming down uh, and then you can add towers on top of this right so please um, spend the time researching and jotting down notes before you commit to this this is a serious uh, activity that takes a group to get together okay one look I can take this element, put a side of a building, and I'm and like that, so my stack continues, right? I can have one on one building, resize it, scale it out, scale it in, and so on. I could use various interpretations of it. Okay, so these are beautiful paintings, and I'm blown away by it. Look, these elements are here. Look at this one floating. I mean, not even like it's just hanging down. I don't want to even know what that is. But the depth in this shot is unbelievable. So you have a wall here. And then you have depth behind. There's so much happening here. So look, look, this architecture I could use. So these are inspirations. Look at the look, look at this right here. This this is the parapet, or or maybe it could be a passageway, and that's the railing of sorts. So you can use these things, okay, guys. And again, and this is a, a style of framing that photographers use. And and so what what it is, you frame the shot, and within the shot, there's so much more happening. So I could take this idea of a village and so forth, okay. So Again, for me, I love this corner. I'm going to take this and I'm going to incorporate somewhere guaranteed. When I saw this, I'm like, yes, I could build up on this and add a tower and so forth. And I think this might be the end, the last one. And you can see here now, look look how ornate these are, organic. Like, look at that. And here's the ship and so forth, okay? So what do we got here? We've got 13 minutes. Okay, <clears throat> so looking at all this, there's some really cool stuff. Uh, there's no right or wrong as far as I'm concerned. So, but I'm looking for you guys to explore, commit to a certain language, identify it. What are the elements that you're going to put together? Look at these. Look, look at these ornate pieces in the in, in the top four four corners. Okay, let's see. Can I just nope? Maybe arrow down, up. Look at that. So you can see this in architecture. And they took it and look, you can say this is like from a cathedral, the rose window in the middle, but then it's ornate in a different style, right? Look at this. This is this. I <laughs> think how cool that is, right? And it's, it's open for interpretation, guys. This is a serious activity. I hope you commit to it and give it the time that it really needs, the respect it requires, because there's so much good creativity could come out of this, okay? I hope you guys can appreciate what it, and like again, study, analyze, come in, 
take those elements and take your time before you commit to composition and I'll talk about composition in the next um, in the next lesson okay just as a review it's not even a lesson it's more a review for you guys you know what I'm talking about okay valiant out see you guys enjoy